Hi, my name's Ian Badger. I'm the Learning and Teaching Librarian at Canterbury and I met with Anne Carantelion and we had a look at some of the resources that the library has that you can use to do your industry report as the Spatial Practices Unit. So this video is going to just take you through those briefly. We divided these resources up into three sections, annuals, journals and databases and I'll take you through these one by one. There will also be accompanying this a list of links for you, so if anything you, you want to look at, you can access online. So the first resource are what we call as annuals. So these are books, they are produced by design organisations, they come out annually, and they round up the best designs in a number of different categories um, through a different, different year. Each of the different annuals has a, an index at the start where they will break down the awards and the, um, the, the different examples of, of, of work via different categories. So this could be like branding, book design, music videos, editorial design and so forth. So you don't have to just browse through all different sorts of design. It's quite useful if you are interested in, for example, book design, as you could see examples of what um, this part of the industry thought was, was best in that given year. So DNAD stands for Design and Art Direction, and their aim is to stimulate, enable, and award creative excellence in design and advertising. So this annual covers all sorts of design and advertising examples. And there, there's an annual that's produced every year where you can find in the library, you've got the number there. And also you can look at their website for lots and lots of information. Some of these organisations um, provide highlights from their awards, but also have news and example material on their websites as well. For example here we've got their examples of awards, we've got tips and tricks and articles and news as well. So there's quite a lot of information that you can get via their website, not just in the annual. So Epica, Epica is an organisation that it is the point, well, they say they are the point where the creative industries meet the world's marketing and communication press. So this um, annual covers marketing, advertising and branding. And you can find it in the kind of marketing section of the library there. You've got the number to find the latest annual. They as well have a lot of material and award winners and news on their website. So if you are interested in marketing, advertising and branding, that is a very good place to look. So the next annual is Graphis. Graphis is an organisation that do lots of different annuals in different areas. As an organisation, they say they're committed to presenting and promoting the work of exceptional talent in design, advertising, photography and art and illustration. We take two of their um, uh, annuals, Graphis Design, mainly covers just graphic design, and also Graphis Poster, which covers specifically poster design. So you've got the numbers there to find them in the library, but there's also a lot of additional information on their website where you could look at some of the other mat uh, material they provide, such as on photography and uh, illustration as well. So the last annual that we're going to talk about is Typography, which is produced by the Type Directors Club and they are a leading international organisation that supports excellence in typography in print and on the screen. So this annual specifically covers uh, typography, the bulk of its typography, but there's also quite a lot of uh, type design as well. So this you'll find in the typography section of the website, and like all of the other organisations, they uh, make a lot of material and news available via their website as well. The second um, type of resource that will be useful for your um, industry research report will be journals. Now we do have quite a lot of journals in the library but we've picked out the ones that have a specific focus on industry. Um, so journals are regular publications, they tend to be monthly or bi-monthly and most of the ones that we picked here feature news, articles, interviews, competitions, and some also feature jobs as well. So they're a very good way of finding out what people are doing in industry. 
Um, we have a number of different titles and they all have a slightly different focus and we'll just run through those. So first of all there's Creative Review. It is published in the UK and has a mainly UK focus but also looks at other parts of the world. It does cover graphic design uh, or, or the main of the design industry, lots and lots of articles on issues in design, interviews with designers, successful designers, and really is quite focused on industry issues. It's published monthly. They also have a lot of information on their website. You can search through articles there. They also have lots of jobs and additional information on their website, which isn't available in the journal. So the second uh, journal is Campaign. Again, this is published in the UK, but also has an international focus. This covers marketing, advertising, and any kind of communications media. Similar to the last, it has lots of articles, news, reviews, interviews, and so forth. It's published monthly, but there's also a lot of additional information that can be found on their website. So I Journal is uh, published in the UK but also looks at uh, what's going on elsewhere in the world. This covers graphic design and typography, um, lots and lots of articles on issues in design, news, reviews, interviews with successful designers. It's published quarterly, but they have a lot more kind of up-to-date material on their website, which you can look at. Print is a journal that is um, it's an American graphic design magazine. Um, so it has more of an American focus, but it's also um, very useful to look at. It's published bi-monthly and is uh, also, again, they have lots and lots of additional information on their website. Um, Novum is a graphic design magazine that covers graphic design, illustration, typography that's published in Germany, but also has an international focus. There's lots of articles that you can look at there, and they also have news and information updated on their website. Um, Communication Arts is an American journal which covers all aspects of visual communication, so it looks at graphics, illustration, advertising, and so forth. Then this is bi-monthly, available in the library, and they also have a lot of up-to-date information on their website. Computer Arts is a UK-based uh, journal with a very much UK focus. It covers graphic design industry in the UK. Even though it's called Computer Arts, it means anything kind of produced digitally, so it can still mean material that's been printed. Um, it's published monthly, but they have a really good website. Um, the creative block, the people who make the journal, also make a lot of other similar titles. So if you go to their website, you can find lots and lots of information on there. And they're very good for kind of jobs and kind of what's happening in the UK sector. So the last um, resource are some of the databases that the library subscribe to. So databases search very specific collections of information, again, which have a particular focus, like an annual. Um, certain databases will provide you with articles to read online, and some will provide references to material. These can be really useful as a way of finding out what's inside some of the journals that we have access to. So the first database is Walk or the World Advertising Research Centre, which is very useful if you're interested in advertising, marketing or branding, absolutely everything that you find within it is available to view online. Um, it's got lots of journal articles, case study and news about branding. So you access it via the library databases page, which I'll show you very quickly. So to access it, if you Google UCA library catalogue, um, go to the library catalogue, there's a databases option on the side here, and then walk is at right at the bottom. So you scroll to the bottom of the list, and then there's a link there to the World Advertising Research Centre. If you're off campus, it will ask for your single sign-on login at this point. And you can search here, or just look at news on what's happening in advertising and branding. There's, it gets updated all the time. Um, lots and lots of different information on here. So if you're like, interested in doing, say, social media, um, marketing, you could put that in there. And 
very quickly you'll find lots and lots of case studies, examples, reports um, to, to view that you can read online or download. And so the last database is what we call the Design and Applied Arts Index. So this searches the context of the contents of graphic design journals, but also searches a lot of design, craft, illustration, other material as well. You will find links to articles there, but it will also provide you with references to material that we have in print. So again, go to the library catalogue, go to the databases page, and then go down to D, and there's a link there for the Design and Applied Arts Index. So this here will is where you enter your search terms. So we could search for say, social media advertising again. And it would do a number of searches across different journals. Um, it provides you with links to journals that they have access to online. So that's one way of finding material. So if you find that it's coming back with too many results, uh, which is possible because it, it searches lots and lots of different journals and they may not all be relevant to you. You can go to this advanced search option there. And then if you add in like a, a search word into the top box, say we've got here typography, we can change the second option to publication title. And then there's an option here to look up publications. And you can add in the different journals that you like. Once you've had a browse through the journals, you get an idea for which ones you find interesting. So like I can add I to the search. Um, I could, could have added other journals as well. Like we can add, should we add some more? Say we can add creative review as well. Then when I do my search on typography in those journals, I'm just finding material in those journals, not any other ones. Um, and I can either change that by, I can change this, say, to most recent first, if I'm most interested in the latest things that are being said on these topics. For these results here, we don't have access to I online. If we did, it would give you a little link here. But what it means is if, if you really wanted this article, um, you've got all the details here, you would just need to go and find I, issue number 97, autumn 2018, and um, you would be able to access the journal um, in the library in print and just make a photocopy of it.